Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Annovella. Today is Sunday and that means coffee clutch. Coffee clutch is um, a, a Dutch word or a Belgian word or Flemish word that means coffee and some chit chat. So we invite each other over to have a, a coffee and, and some cookies or whatever and talk about the past week. Now, I haven't been reading much lately because I've been watching a, a TV series to offer and it doesn't happen very often that I watch TV series. So, But for this one, I make an exception because it's amazing, so well done. So it's about the making of uh, the movie The Godfather and all the troubles they had with the mafia and, and with the FBI and, and oh, what a mess, what a mess, and uh, and the funding, and the actors, and, and uh, Frank Sinatra, and oh yeah, it was amazing. Um, it is really well acted, really well written. Oh man, a very, very intelligent TV series. I highly recommend it. So yeah, what else I have been doing? Well, this week I've read uh, weekend. I've read Carol together with uh, Ollie from Karim and Ollie. Um, it is our second book in uh, our uh, Patricia Highsmith challenge. She has written this under another pen name, which was uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, Claire Morgan, and the original title was The Price of Salt. This is the story about Carol, a very well-off lady who is in the middle of a divorce. She has a, a child, a daughter, and she meets Therese, who is a, at that time a saleswoman at some uh, very fancy store like uh, Macy's or whatever. And uh, yeah, they meet, they fall in love, and they go on a trip, and then the husband finds out. Now, this is a book, If when you read it, some people don't realize how much is at stake for those women, especially for Carol, who could have easily, easily by her husband and taken to an institution, have a lobotomy and stay there forever and be forgotten. Easily. That's how dangerous it was. Or take it to prison or whatever. Uh, this is... Uh, you have to read it as a sort of thriller. It is a sort of thriller. If you know what it's at stake, then uh, your opinion uh, about this book can be altered. Uh, for me, it's a five-star read. I had it um, consumed. I read it and I listened to it partly, and it was a really welcome, uh, yeah, a welcome read this weekend. It's snowing outside. Muffin doesn't like that white stuff. When she looks at it, she, can, she says, well, this is not for me. I'm staying inside. <laughs> she's such a princess, but she's from Spain. What else do you expect? Then I've been reading uh, A Restless Truth, written by Freya Marske. So this is fantasy. Uh, a fantasy story about a woman who is on a boat, traveling to somewhere together with her parrot, Dorian, and uh, she has killed a woman with her magic and she doesn't want to be found out. So yeah, it um, it's not a book for me. Fantasy, no, I'm, I'm not, yeah, I don't buy it. I'm just uh, not the right person for this. So yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> not for me. Two stars. And then I'm still reading uh, Chauderlo de la Clos uh, Dangerous Liaisons. I hope to finish this week. I've stalled it a bit because I like to read in one go and uh, well, we still have a month to go. Uh, we are reading this together with uh, Elizabeth and with Micah, um, uh, Classics and Company. And uh, yeah, it's still uh, it's still the 14th of uh, uh, February. So there's still time. If you want to uh, join us, you can. And then I'm currently reading this book. Uh, 
These Days by Lucy Caldwell, Two Sisters, Four Nights, One City. I'm about halfway and it took me some time to get into it, but I, for now it's, it's getting better. So it's about two sisters who are coming together in Dublin and it's 1941 and there's the raid, a four day raid on Dublin. Uh, by uh, German bombers and uh, it's about how they survive. One is about to get married, the other has a secret affair with a young girl uh, who's oh, well, 10 years younger and uh, yeah it's uh, they are coming, the bombers are coming so I, I don't know any more of it. Then I also finished the brilliant brilliant biography written by uh, Philippe Lanson it's called Disturbance a very bad translation of uh, the French title. It is about, so Philippe Lanson, Lanson is, was um, a columnist for Charlie Hebdo and he was also a book critic and he is the survivor of the shooting at Charlie Hebdo on the 7th of January 2015. Now on the 6th of January 2015, he published his review of the book submission by uh, Michel Wellenbeck and it was very, quite harsh. It was a harsh critique towards uh, Wellenbeck and it was all over the news the day after the 7th because on the 7th of January submission was launched. And Submission talks about how France is an Islamic state and how people are living under the Islamic regime in France. Now, uh, what is so horrible in, in a way, they were talking, they were having a meeting of, about Submission at Charlie Hebdo when the gunman arrived. He was one of the survivors, his face was partly blown away and, and also his hands and uh, yeah, he was severely wounded and um, the descriptions, descriptions of the attack are uh, really tough to read but also fascinating. And then the way he dealt with all of this, the way he talked about it, and the respect he has for his doctors and surgeons and nurses and the policemen that uh, protected him 24-7. It was like he felt loved and he felt really taken care of. He never complained, he never feels sorry for himself, he finds his, his strength in literature. So he refers a lot to literature and uh, a lot of texts are being uh, are, uh, cited on, on the, um, in the book and uh, yeah, I learned a lot about new authors that I want to read and uh, it's, it's such a beautiful, powerful book. He always remained positive. He was scared. He, he really has some, had some anxieties, especially uh, after a year or so. He could finally leave the hospital and live on his own again without protection. So that was a difficult a difficult period for him, but still he he survived and 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 he 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 is still thriving. And um, actually, one of the first moments he went outside uh, and and uh, uh, be around people uh, was <laughs> that was a big coincidence. But Michel Wellenbeck was there, and he came up to him uh, to Philippe Lanson, and he was so warm towards him and so loving and it was a really positive meeting and uh, it is a beautiful, beautiful book, Disturbance by Philippe Lanson. Easy to find. Read it. It is necessary. It is wonderful. Yeah. 
wonderful book. And then a surprise, something uh, that ended in my letterbox. This one, uh, Lady Joker by Kaoru Takamura. Never heard of it, but somebody has sent it to me. I don't know who it is, please make yourself known, because I've never heard of it, but I think it's fascinating. Let me read you the blurb. So, Tokyo 1995. Five men, uh, 1995, I'm sorry. Five men meet at a racetrack every Sunday to bet on horses. They have little in common except a de deep disaffection with their lives. But together they represent the social struggles and griefs of post-war uh, post Japan. There's a poorly socialized genius stuck working as a welder, a demoted detective with a chip on his shoulder, a Zainiki Korean banker sick of being ostracized for his ethnicity, a struggling single dad of a teenage girl with Down syndrome, and the fifth man bringing them all together is an elderly drugstore owner grieving his grandson who has died suspiciously. It sounds really interesting, so I'm looking forward to, do, to reading this. I will do this uh, uh, beginning of next week. So yeah, really looking forward. Thank you for the one who has sent me. Please make yourself known I, I will, uh, so I can thank you personally. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with this. I would never have chosen it off. I've never heard of it. So yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, that's about it. I hope this wasn't too long of a chat. Um, it's time to go outside and enjoy the weather. Huh, Muffin? Mm, she doesn't like the weather doesn't like the snow no 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 that wet stuff is that white wet stuff isn't her thing no 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 anyway thank you for watching i hope to see you on wednesday bye bye